Song Gong. As I breathe in, I'm coming in and settling into the standing post posture. Shoulders down, wrists slightly above the elbows, rounded. It's almost like you can draw a circle from your shoulder blades in the back all the way around your arms from fingertip to fingertip and back the other side. Knees and feet are aligned, breathing with the lower dantian. Nice, smooth, even breathing. And we hold. These exercises are designed to really get in and help the spine. So we're going to bring our arms down, arm, neck, shoulders, everything nice and relaxed as we're making big circles. I'm kind of mirroring. You kind of want to go to the left first. Big circles from the hips all the way around. Again, neck, head, shoulders, arms, nice and relaxed. You're going to see this a couple times where the arms are almost just sort of dead. Just let them really relax. Get the spine to move. We're going to hold in the center for a moment. Part of that's because I get dizzy. And we'll go the other way. Again, we want to move with the breaths, with the breathing. So we almost want to massage the spine as we do these. And we're also going to create space between each vertebra and disc. So it's almost like we want to pull with the crown of our head up and, and pull our tailbone down when we're in our vertical positions. So we're here, we're going to hold in the center and roll up, stacking the spine. And we're going to bring our hands up and plant the hands into the sky. So this is what I was talking about, extending the spine up and the tailbone down, opening and getting space between each vertebra and disc. Reaching up through, still breathing nice and even, nice and smoothly. We don't want to rush anything or tax our breath. We're going to make fists here and we're going to wrap our shoulder blades around the spine. There's going to be a natural stretch in the shoulders and chest, but we don't want to tense, tighten, or pull that too much. The idea is to wrap the spine. See, I'm kind of relaxing in more as we go. Again, nice, even, relaxed, smooth breathing with the lower dantian. Nice and re relaxed, but still wrapping and engaged. Here we're going to bring the arms together, relax the back, push forward and bend at the hips. We're going to basically make an L with the body. There'll be other times when we come down further, but right now it's almost like pushing our head and hands forward and pulling the tailbone back. And focus is on health of the spine and breathing. So it's almost like a qigong and a warm up. Then we're going to just relax. All the way down, relax the arms, and again, stack the spine, vertebra on top of disc, on top of vertebra, bringing everything up. Final thing, straightening the head, again, leading up with the crown of the head, and chin parallel to the ground. Now we're going to bring up the hands like opening form. Left hand turns up, right hand curves over the head. Twist towards the left keeping the knees where they're at. Don't let the knees buckle. We want to try and get the hand as close to 180 degrees, so for facing 12 to 6 o'clock, and bring the head back. Again, this is going to be helping the spine, massaging the spinal cord, and getting everything else in there to be able to have space and to move. Now, as we come back forward, we're going to roll each arm, starting with the shoulder, roll to the tricep, elbow, forearm, wrist, hand, fingers, and when we come out with the fingers, just let it drop, just dead arm down. So big roll, leading with the dantian, roll out the arm, and then drop. 
the arm almost wants to kind of look like a slow motion flag or piece of cloth rolling in the wind. You just roll shoulder, tricep, elbow, forearm, wrist, hand, fingers, and drop three times each side. Now you guys should know by now I'm into symmetry and algebra did not lie to you. Everyone wants to complain that they didn't do any of this in school after they got into the real world. Well, what you do on one side, you do to the other. So you want to flip the right hand, curve the left, twist to the right. Same thing, look behind, head back. Education is about training both sides of your brain being able to make all those connections to become more complete this is working that way too if you cross around one side of the body or the other that also helps connect hemispheres and strengthen those connections so again we're going to do the same thing reading with the right arm this time rolling out and release the more you sort of cross the center line of your body consistently and mindfully you can, again, help strengthen those bonds between each hemisphere. And that will also help you be able to kind of rewire and rewrite things as you work on you know, the sort of mental and intellectual health as well. I think Bruce Lipton, Dr. Bruce Lipton, will uh, do things like that to help uh, kind of retraining the brain. All right, next up. Our hands are going to go behind our head, link the fingers, tuck the chin, and roll down, bending at the hips. Like we stack the spine, we want to roll down each vertebrae. Again, opening the space. There's a tiny bit of gentle pressure with the hands on the back of the head to create that extra space in the cervical vertebrae, which is the vertebrae in your neck. Thoracic is the middle part. Lumbar is the small of the back, and it goes into sacral spine, which includes your tailbone. Last couple little vertebrae down on the bottom. We're opening up that space, relaxing the muscles around. We want to drop the hands and roll up again, stacking the spine, realigning the spine nice and straight, keeping the shoulders nice and relaxed. This will help them settle in a relaxed position, and then resetting the head. We're going to dip to the left. Left hand plants into the ground, right hand plants into the sky. We're going to open up that whole side so we should feel stretches near serratus, which is that sort of boxer muscle under the pecs, the obliques, which is the side of the abs, the latissimus dorsi in the back, even into the hip. Now shortly that top hand there is going to relax and release, almost like you're just cutting a string, strum, and look, the arm just sort of flops. You don't really want to control it. It's just like it's being held up, and then you cut the string. It's going to kind of look a little bit like you're strumming a guitar, all Pete Townsend-y, but you really just kind of want to let it go. And then we're still stretching a little bit more that side. And we're going to straighten the body nice and straight and hold for a moment. before we do the other side. So the right hand plants into the ground, the left hand plants into the sky, stretch and open that whole side. Both palms are going to face forward. that arm, let it drop. Nice and easy. Opening that side. Letting the spine relax as well. And get all parts, the cervical, thoracic, lumbar, sacral, all of it. Space and massaging. Get back to straight. Now we're going to kind of repeat what we did before. I'm backing up so you can see more of it. We're going to reach into the sky, 
lift up on the balls of your feet best able all this is always best able again we're gonna hands behind the head roll down and crouch when you get to the lowest point of your crouch that's where you set your heels back down doesn't have to be all curled up like I am it can be a little bit higher and you don't want to hurt yourself but you want to get your best able crouch in here that crouching stance is super good for you and we're going to release the arms push up from the feet straighten the legs but stay in that jackknife position and twist over the left leg again keeping the knees straight the knees and the feet stay in alignment we don't buckle or bow them to the other side. Again, keep your breathing even. In and out should be the same amount of time. back down center a little bit of extra stretch and then really straighten the spine here roll up feel each bone and the space between them and we've got one more here just readjusting here and it's lifting the leg try and get the knee up as best as you can I had to kind of readjust I'd been outside literally all day and it was perspiring a bit try and get the knee up it doesn't have to be super up by your chin or anything parallel like this is fine a little bit lower if you can but keep the leg out in front of you you don't want your foot in tucking back you want to just leave it like you're lifting that thigh parallel to the ground and the other foot's the other the lower part of the leg is either relaxed or pointing in towards the knee. If you look from the side, it's almost it's gonna my leg's going to kind of come out straight and bend instead of tucking back. A lot of times in my classes, the first one with the zanzong standing post and this one, for time sake, I'll usually cut out and instead of the eight it will be the six uh, kind of postures we've gone over but this is the whole thing and it comes from Chen style Tai Chi Chuan and my friend Jill Fox who's trained with the Chens uh, told me about it uh, when I was probably a year out of recovery from my spine and it's been super helpful to me and my other students and I hope it's been helpful to you thank you for watching and have fun <laughs>